All right, unfortunately, my last video, there was no sound because I was on mute. So, ah, let's go through this again. All right. So, firstly, f plus g of x. So, that's 3x squared. 4x and x is 5x. 1 and 1 is 2. Domain, all real numbers f minus g of x, that's 3x squared, and then 4x minus x is 3x, and 1 minus 1 is gone, all real numbers. f times g of x is going to be x plus 1, or, or, or 3x squared plus 4x plus 1, times the other one, just, just multiplying the two together. I'm putting the smaller one first, it's a little bit easier to multiply it out, um, so that would be 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus x uh, plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 1. So that's 3x cubed plus 7x squared plus 5x no, 5x plus 1. 3x cubed 7x squared 5x and 1 domain all real numbers and then f over g of x is 3x squared plus 4x plus 1 over uh, x plus 1 and uh, I guess it's it's worth thinking if the top can be factorized and it can actually it's a uh, 3x plus 1 times x plus 1 over x plus 1. And the x plus 1's cancel, leaving you with 3x plus 1. But the domain is all real numbers except for minus 1 still, because that fact gets carried all the way through. So um yeah, yeah. Um it, it might seem a bit weird because it looks like minus one is okay here, and it is okay, but it wasn't okay, and the fact that it wasn't okay, so to speak, gets carried through. So yeah, there there are the four answers. One, two, three, and four then. Okay, I think that's all right. Hopefully I'm not making any slips in my rush to redo these three five two three three gone three x cubed plus four x squared three x cubed plus four x squared plus x plus three x squared plus four x plus one three seven five one uh yep looking okay thirty nine fx equals 9 minus x squared. You can factorize that too. And gx equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. So f plus g of x would equal, well, the x squareds would cancel. So it'll be minus 2x minus 3 plus 9. So that's plus 6. f minus g of x Minus x squared minus x squared is minus 2x squared minus 2x9 minus minus 3, that's 12. All reals, all reals. f times g of x is 9 minus x squared times x squared minus 2x minus 3. So that's 9x squared minus 18x minus 27 minus x power 4 plus 2x cubed plus 3x squared so that is minus x power 4 uh, plus 2x cubed plus 12x squared minus 18x minus 27 all real numbers and then lastly, f over g 
of x is 9 minus x squared over x squared minus 2x minus 3, which is minus x squared minus 9, if I take the minus out on the top, over x squared minus 2x minus 3, which is minus x plus 3 times x minus 3 over, let's factorize that, x minus 3 times x plus 1. But uh, the domain is all real numbers except for minus 1 and 3. And you can do some cancelling here. Yep. Cancelling here. So you're left with minus x plus 3 over x plus 1. All right, let's, let's check the answers because I have these ones. Um, let's see. Where am I going to be going? Thirty-nine minus two x plus six. Yep. Minus four to twelve minus eighteen minus twenty-seven are real numbers. And um. The last one is correct. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's 39 done. So we're okay with that. Now, let's have a look at 40. So 40 is fx equals root x and gx equals x minus 2. So f plus g of x equals root x plus x minus 2. f minus g of x is root x minus x plus 2. All real, all real f times g, no Stephen, not all real, I'm rushing this now, uh, it's from 0 to infinity, and from 0 to infinity, and then f times g of x uh, is root x times x minus 2, and the same deal, and then f over g of x is root x over x minus 2, and then it is 0 to 2, but not including 2, and then 2 to infinity. Okay, 41. Uh, yep, that's right. That's right. That's right. And then that looks, that looks, zero to two, two to infinity, yeah, that all looks good there. Okay, and then 41, fx equals six plus one over x, and gx equals one over x. So f plus g of x would be six plus one over x plus one over x, so that would be six plus two over x. All real numbers except for zero is the domain f minus g of x, oh, that's interesting, I like it, uh, 6 plus 1 over x minus 1 over x is 6, but we still have the domain as all real numbers except 0. Um, f times g of x, that's 6 plus 1 over x, times 1 over x. I guess I could multiply it out. It'll be 6 over x plus 1 over x squared. I don't really see much of an advantage in doing that though. And again, it's all real numbers except for 0. 6 over x, yeah, okay. And then uh, f over g of x will be 6 plus 1 over x over 1 over x multiply above and below by x. 
So that's 6x plus 1 over 1. So that's 6x plus 1. But again, the domain is all real numbers except for 0. Let's see if that matches the back. Uh, 41. Six plus two over x. Six. Six over x plus one over x squared. And then six x plus one. Well, that story checked out. Okay, let's see now. Um, what do I know? 42, I think it changes a bit here, doesn't it? So we want to compose the functions f compose g and g compose f. Simplify the results and find the domain of each of the results. Okay, it could get a little bit tricky later with the roots and the reciprocals. Okay, 42. fx equals 3x and gx equals x plus 5. So f composed with g of x, that's equal to f of g of x, which is equal to f of x plus 5 which is equal to 3 times x plus 5, which is equal to 3x plus 15. And the domain is all real numbers. g composed with f, so g of f of x. Um, that would be g of 3x, which would be 3x plus Five domain all real numbers. Okay, good. Let's have a look now at 43. fx equals x plus 4. gx equals 4x minus 1. f g. Uh, so f of g of x, that would be f. 4x minus 1, which would be 4x minus 1 plus 4, which is 4x plus 3, all real. g of f of x is g of f of x is g of x plus 4, which would be 4 times x plus 4 minus 1, which would be 4x plus 16 minus 1, so that's 4x plus 15, all real. Let's check the answer, since I have this one, 43. 43, 43, 4x plus 3, all reals, 4x plus 15, all reals. Okay. Okay, um, still no major problems now, like with 44. I'm a bit paranoid about the sound, let me make sure it's there. Yeah, it is, okay, so 44. Uh, fx equals 2x plus 4, and then gx equals x squared minus 2. 2x plus 4 and x squared minus 2. Okay. So f of g of x. That's f of g of x. Well, I'll just save time now. So that's f of x squared minus 2, which would be 2 times x squared minus 2 plus 4 which is 2x squared minus 4 plus 4, 
which is 2x squared all real. And then g of f of x equals g of 2x plus 4, which equals 2x plus 4 squared minus 2, which is 4x squared plus 16 x plus 16 minus 2. First one squared twice the first by the second and then the second squared. So that is 4x squared plus 16x plus 14. All real. Okay, 45. fx equals x squared plus 7 and gx equals x squared minus 3. Yeah, f of g of x would equal f of x squared minus 3, which would equal x squared minus 3 squared plus 7, which would equal x power 4 minus 6x squared plus 9 plus 7, which would be x power 4 minus 6x squared plus 16, all the reals g of f of x equals g of f which is x squared plus 7 so that would be x squared plus 7 squared minus 3 so that would be x power 4 plus 14x squared plus 49 minus 3 which will be x power 4 plus 14x squared, plus 46, all the reals. Uh, okay, let's check. 45. Uh, 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 um, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and then I'd like to finish on 46, because that's a bit of a tricky one. Well, it could potentially be tricky. 46. Okay. fx equals root x and gx equals x plus 9. Okay. So f of g of x, that's equal to f of x plus 9. And that's equal to root x plus 9. Now, what's important here for the domain, if you picture it like this, the domain, uh, we have some domain here, and then we first apply the G, and then uh, we have to apply the F, and then we get our, our range here. So we have to be careful. Firstly, um, our final domain, has to match up with the domain of G. So G can be all real numbers. So there's no problem going with the G here. But we have to make sure that the range here coincides with an acceptable domain for F. So the F has to take positives. So X plus nine has to be a positive. So that means x has to be uh, more than or equal to minus 9. So you want the domain here to be 0 to infinity. So you have to start off not with the reals. You have to restrict it from minus 9 to infinity. Because minus 9 to infinity, when it maps, uh, when you calculate the g of that, uh, an element from uh, that set, you have to make sure it'll be positive because it's going in the square root. In other words, this guy has to stay positive because you're square rooting it. So, so the domain is uh, that. And you can kind of see that clearly here. You can't have the root of a negative. And then if we go with g of f of x, that's g of uh, root x. And that's uh, root x plus 9. 
And again here, you can kind of see that the domain has to be uh, zero to infinity. So that's um, unfortunately an even question that we can't know for 100% certain. Well, I mean, I'm pretty confident that this is right unless I've done something silly here. So that's the first one. That's its domain. And then that's the second one. And that's its domain. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. I think when I'm looking at 47, uh, that looks okay. And 48 looks okay. So I think, I think we probably should call it time for it this evening and then we can uh, pick it up tomorrow then. Okay. Something, just before I close it, something doesn't quite feel right. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Um, 46 root x and x plus 9. f of g, that's f of x plus 9, that's root x plus 9. Domain has to be from minus 9 inclusive to infinity okay g of f of x that's g of uh root x that's root x plus nine domain has to be from zero to infinity including zero yeah checks out i don't know why i feel worried about it <laughs>